Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and we're continuing on with this Europa River Solace 4 Song High playthrough uh, with the Origins DLC. So this is update for late 2021. And um, I think one of the things we're going to want to do is, is sort of conquer and finish off Jolof here. But I think we've actually secured the gold now. We have three gold provinces. We are integrating our vassal Jenny here. We have permanent claims on all of West Africa, minus, you know, Benin and Yeo. Um, so we could kind of start working on that. But I think just taking care of these guys and just, you know, moving, uh, removing this front um, will be good. Portugal, unfortunately, we ended up losing a war up here um, against Portugal and, and giving up all of our, our cores that we've gotten in Morocco. We can get those later, potentially. Um, Portugal is going to want to take uh, Morocco and, and honestly as it stands right now Portugal is just going to want to attack us again right they're allied to England and Castile England and Castile yeah they're gonna they're gonna look to attack us again when they get the chance which is going to be in um in in six years so what I want to do before then is I want to try to look I, I think we've we've lost our alliance with Tunis yeah but we still have the royal marriage we could be we should be able to get this this alliance again uh, before Portugal has a chance to attack us. Um, but because we annulled treaties with them, it won't be until 1498. They should still be allied to the Ottomans, so Portugal probably doesn't want to attack into the Ottomans. Yeah. Ottomans are one of the most powerful countries in the world, so hopefully that'll maintain a strong deterrent. If we get Tunis, they're really... Uh, honestly, actually, getting the Mamluks. Huh. Getting the Mamluks would be kind of an interesting interesting thing yeah let's let's send a uh, a diplomat let's try to butter up the mamluks if we had the mamluks and we had tunis yeah basically we want portugal to leave us alone while we consolidate west west africa and and sort of take care of the rebellion and sort of really homo you know homogenize and and unify um, and convert, you know, culture, like, especially with like, uh, you know, uh, religion and stuff so that we can get rid of a lot of the underlying, uh, revolt chants, uh, by unifying this area religiously and stuff like that. And if we could do that, if we could unify this whole area, we will definitely be more powerful than Portugal, um, by scooping up all the development that is down here. In fact, we're technically, you know, a little bigger than Portugal as it is. It's just that Portugal has those really strong allies. So we just need to make sure they don't attack us again. And if they do, then, you know, hopefully we'll be prepared because England, Castile, and Portugal. And Castile has personal unions over Aragon, Naples, and Navarra. Holy cow, that's that's a tough war. That is a tough war right there. We're definitely going to want to get our military technologies up, right? Portugal's at Tech 8. We're going to need to do that. Colonialism is going to happen in, in 1500. Probably will spawn in Portugal as well. It's one of those things where we could we could be working on on finishing quality ideas, which would give us five percent discipline, some extra uh, artillery combat ability. However, we might just need to do whatever we can t to get caught up on these technologies. Um, I think I'm just gonna hit this now. Okay, so to get technology eight, it is not costing a there's no penalty for colonialism. So so this is good. So so we're only one tech behind Portugal. We'll probably easily be able to get this, yeah, before they can attack us, so that won't be a problem. Um, and then we're also going to want to get these technologies up before, um, so that we don't get too much unbalanced research, right? We take an unbalanced research penalty if we're, we're more than two technologies apart. Um, in like if we're two technologies behind at least in Earth, sorry, it's three. Two is fine. Five and seven is fine. But if it's five and eight, we get a, a corruption penalty for unbalanced research. Innovation is decreasing. That's fine. We have some revolt that is going to be popping up eventually. We have these troops standing by, kind of sort of take care of that. But uh, to be honest, maybe I kind of want to drill them, but you know, I don't know. What's going on here? Are we paying for this fort? No, that's fine. We could seize some land, it looks like. Okay, so for this, um, this needs to be completed by 1502. And I'm not too worried about this overall, but 
But if we were to do this, we just need to conquer these guys so that this province is controlled by a Sunni country. It's a Sunni province. It's just now it's being controlled by a fetishist state. So if we conquer these guys, and if we were to do that right now, they're allied with, um, only allied with Benin. That's it. So we could walk over there and beat them up if we wanted to. We do have this re rebellion to think about, but it's saying it'll be, well, it's only saying a year. Hmm. What is the stipulation on attacking these guys? Oh, we have a truce with them for one, for half, for six months. In six months, we'll be able to attack Jolof. I think actually what we want to do, what's our, how, how is our income looking? How many cavalry do we have? 4,000. I wouldn't mind actually getting more cavalry. We can actually get some cannons now too. But I'm actually kind of wondering, cannons actually would be really good for quickly sieging out um, the capitals, but I'm actually kind of thinking that cannons again, cannons are pretty weak in the early game in combat. So we might not actually want to, and they're very expensive. It might be better to actually get cavalry than cannons, just in terms of uh, protecting us against a, a Portuguese attack. Yeah, they're about the same cost. I. Yeah, getting some cannons would be nice. Like getting like four cannons. We really couldn't afford. So four cannons would be 24. We'd have room for 12 more troops. Um, 10, 2. Yeah, maybe two. Maybe we get two more cavalry, 10 more infantry, and four cannons. And that'll be the 16 more that we need. Whether or not we'd actually be able to afford that exactly, I'm not sure. Half cost. These are full cost. So if we get some good events that give us some cheaper advisors, that would be helpful too. I think for now I'm actually going to build... Just build... Um, as many regular infantry as we can afford. Bring these guys down. That'll be 11,000 that could sort of come and take care of this. Bennett, how many troops does Bennett actually have? They actually have 9,000. Okay, but they're probably a few tech... Yeah, oh, holy cow. They're technology 4. Tech 4. We are tech 7. So yeah, that's going to be huge. So let's get in there. Um, yeah, Tunis is basically fully uh, buttered up at this point. Basically as happy as it can be. Getting our conversions done. Um, I know this is a state that, that's going to be angry with us. Okay, all of these guys are popping up here. I think these guys know that we're potentially about to attack them, it looks like. Um, inflation's kind of a thing, but we do need the admin points. It's going up by 0 0.07 per year. If we were to just get inflation advisor, that would actually knock it down, but we don't really have the means to do that at the moment. Oof. Wait a second, what happened to our income? We're making four ducats a month. We bought nine. That should be nine times two. That should only be one and a one point eight ducats. Oh. I think the missionary is costing us four ducats. That's kind of insane. That's not good. Now, if we declare war, we'll have war, 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 um, man, we need our military. I want another leader because I don't want to use, I, I don't mind this guy drilling over here or this group continuing to drill. Actually, we don't want another drill because we could attack here. Yeah, I don't know. We needed more leaders, but a one, 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 one is not, is not great. 
Yeah, they're only tech four too, so I they're not going to need a good general. Let's just get them a general. Especially because they have the four cavalry over there, they'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're going to just attack here. Whoa! Oh, they have a military access. We got to cancel our military access with them. So ironically, they're going to be recouping their morale here. When can we attack? So it would be interesting. Bennett has a fort, but let's see. No, they haven't mothballed it. They're ready for this. Uh, they're ready for us to attack, essentially, I guess. Wait until the first of the month. Let's see if we can catch them right here. Nope, they're going to slither away. Okay. I think we're going to get him here. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm honestly, I think I'm just going to take... I'm not even worried about siege. I just want to really come down here and make sure Benin doesn't do anything annoying here. Um, actually, what we could do is we could tell Jenny to come sit on this. Jenny, what's your military attack? Couple higher than Benin. Nice. Whoa, where are these guys going? Where are these guys going? Hold on, hold on. Just get here. Just get here for now. They're locked in. Are we going to catch them here or not? Uh, it's saying no. Really? Not catching them there either. You know, okay. I think we win this, but it's not, it might not be clean. They do have some cavalry. We have the better technology, right? We're multiple military technologies ahead of them. This is going to, 21% on that, that's going to happen pretty quickly. We don't actually need to take anything. Well, actually, we could just take these provinces from Benin. It's almost kind of like a why not situation. That'd be amazing if we trap these guys up, up like up here or something, if that's where they're kind of trying to go. Could be really good. Uh, I don't think we care much about Jenny's opinion of us. They really like us. Goods produced, liver. I don't think we care about liver. We do actually want to increase the goods produced there. So um, these guys are going to be popping up here. We do want to be attacking. Looks like okay. Benin is building some additional troops here. Jenny should come over and help with this at some point. Okay, these guys are just going off into no man's land here. Okay. Which is great. I mean, they could cut down into there, but I think I think we're probably okay with this. This should be pretty... Should be. We only lost 85, 85 troops there. That's pretty good. And these are sieging something. Okay. Man, 90%. Okay, 90%. Let's let's walk over here. Yep, let's let's go prepare for this rebellion. I really want to attack Jolof. We have time. Jolof is just they they'll be taken care of eventually. Oh, that's interesting. That siege, we need 9,000 people there for that one. Whoops, we're going to catch him here. You know, I'm going to put our better general in, even if it's our leader. Hopefully he doesn't die, but um
I did not want to fight this fight. We're losing we're losing one tenth the troops as them. Which is kinda crazy. I mean, once these are taken care of, we could actually go and actually attack Jolaf for reals. Should be getting with war reparate or uh, war taxes. We should be making money. We're not going to be making money though. While ooh, that's interesting. Separatism minus five. That's really good. That's really good. So it'll be nice for any future conquesting. Let's get him off the battlefield again, though. Yeah, basically we're just you know we're looking to do this. Um, I think, and we're just going to have to siege out. Now, without military access through NUP, I think that means that they have to try and defend their capital in order to push through. Waiting a month for these guys to get recovered, and then I think we just attack uh, Jolof. We make sure we attack. We, we don't let them slip by and cause, cause any problems. That war, I think, is over. I really want to engage these guys. I, I do not want them slipping out. Like, like where are they? Where are they? Are they going to here? Yeah. Okay. That'll slow them down a bit. We should be able to catch them. I mean, I'm. Oh, oh, okay, they're locked in there. We Okay, we should be able to get them here. I thought maybe they were going all the way down and around Guinea, but... Okay, it looks like the war is won. Oh, oh, they're slipping out. Holy cow, good for them, I guess. Okay, spend a day sitting here. That cancels any build that they're working on. We're going to move here, cancel any build that they're working on. Wait a, wait a day. There is actually an animation that plays if they're if they're building someone in the province, but I think I've disabled it just for like make the disabled some of those little effects to make the game run a little better. I don't even actually really know if that makes much of a difference, but um okay wait a day move yeah consolidate you guys because clearly like these guys are looking like they're looking to uh, attack which would be mighty annoying okay 49 percent till that war is over actually let the Let's see if they get locked in here. They'll probably move to here, but still. Maybe we'll catch them? No, we're going to catch them. We're going to catch them. There we go. The war is won. The war is won. Fairly clean. Still tech four. Yep, they got stack wiped. You guys come over, and basically we just need to start working on taking care of the... Oh, we could actually get those guys to go away just by stepping on them. Oyo is a different location, so okay, let's come up to here. Kebby, yeah, we know about that. Where are you guys? Yeah. 
Okay, that's that's part of this our subject. Oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah, you guys come over here. We'll smash out all this. Actually, the rebellion issue is looking pretty good. I mean, we're gonna have rebellion over here in, in Jolof when we conquer them and down here as well. But things are looking pretty good in terms of stability of, of country here. I actually kind of want to do this province here, especially if we don't have because there's an entire rebellion that's that's building up right there specifically. Ooh, gold found. Okay. Yeah, there's gold. Yeah, there's gold here. Okay, they took they took it. They've okay. So Portugal has has conquered the rest of of Morocco. Um we're one year away from being able to get the alliance with Tunis. We need to keep building troops. I don't think we're really making much money, but we need uh actually we are making about 3 ducats even minus the spoils of war, which is good. And hopefully we can get some cash from uh from some of these wars too. How is this still at 49%? Hello? I was going to say Ben is not attacking us somewhere. 49%, please. Can this can this be done with? We move on, please. Thank you. The question is if we take it from Okay. So we're spending, how much money could we get if we go this route? We get war reps, we get a hundred. Okay, that's probably worth it. A hundred ducats is probably worth it right now. Uh, 18 uh, diplo points basically is what we're paying to get a hundred ducats in the war reparations from Benin. And just to kind of have them on a separate piece. How much money do you guys have? I mean, the inflation's kind of annoying, but when you're taking such a small sum. Actually, this would be kind of cool. This is saying that instead of um, maximizing profit, profit, we could actually successfully try to propagate. There's 21 different provinces that could be converted if we were to let the trader kind of influence uh, spread of religious culture there um, instead, which is kind of neat. You know, I said we'd get some cannons, but I think we just get Let's see if we could let's see if we could make like like be profiting with this. I mean, we could always lower we could not pay for the army at times of peace, right? That's one way we could do it. But I'm gonna. I'm not gonna build any cannons. They're too expensive. That's almost getting full there. Um, we'll we'll get cannons as we go forward. But okay, that's completed. It's gonna be a lot of necessary converting, though, right? Um. So this completed, right? Our estate uh, goal. So we could sell it. We could try to see what the next one would be. I don't really care much. A uh, manufacturing, you know, we're not going to be able to build manufacturers. Too expensive. We don't want to build any of the like low level ones. Manpower 95, 90%. Well, I mean, this would kind of work out for us if we weren't attacked, but I think there's a decent chance that Portugal will attack us. A half cost level 3 discipline advisor would be amazing. It's It would take us 6 years. 6 years to get 90% manpower. I don't mind waiting that long. I'm just kind of thinking that like Portugal's not going to wait that long. I don't mind hanging out for six years and working on like just, you know, taking care of like rebels and stuff, managing the country, building the economy, stuff like that. Uh, they lose 5% equilibrium loyalty, uh, loyalty equilibrium. That's really not that big of a deal. I, th I think we actually try that. I think we go for... Um, There we go. This is cool. I don't know what we're really looking at here. It's saying that Timbuktu is a, a Sunni religious center. Nearby provinces will gradually convert to Sunni. 
as long as it is here and there are provinces that it can spread to. Oh, I didn't realize that. Is that because of our merchant doing its thing, or is that because of some other system that, that I didn't even know was really a thing? So that should get rid of a few of these. That's going to go away on its own. Most of these are at zero. These guys are going to pop up at some point in... Mashi. But we have these troops right here to take care of it. It's only going to be 7,000. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. You guys group up. Because we're going to definitely have rebellion out here. Um, we could actually be building um, more temples and things to help bolster the economy. That'll be 0.12. I want to say... Wait, is it yearly or is it monthly? I think it's monthly. Monthly income, right? Getting something like this. This this right here I think is showing monthly improvement. Not yearly. Um, we don't need to pay for this fort. Uh, what else can we do here? Diplomatic expenses. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's right. We're paying Portugal 3.16 ducats a month. That is insane. Okay, what do we do over here? We have a new uh, administrative... Uh, government reform that we can enact. This will actually increase the, the give the merchants a little bit more equilibrium, more loyalty, um, which is probably the least uh, aggressive of the of the estates. Makes advisors cost 10% less. That could save us some money. We're not, probably not going to get... Uh, I like the free uh, administrative policy, but it's going to be... That's so far in the future before you benefit from that. It's it's crazy. Leader cost minus 10%. Eh. Also, I don't like increasing the influence of the, uh, of the nobility that much. That's a good point. When it said we were making and lose it, like the, the money we were making or losing, I'm now I'm trying to think, like, uh, was that before these cavalry just got built? I don't know. We're making a profit right now. I don't know how, but we're making a profit right now. I would actually like to have ex uh, another troop as well. And of course, if we state that if this land gets cored, if we can core these lands and state them, that'll be really, really good. We need to ally Tunis when we when as soon as we can. Which is going to be March next year. In March. Okay, so that's kind of a large stack. Where all do we have rebellion issues here? It's going to be 9,000. Okay, so these guys will be able to swing over here and help with those. These guys are already ready for those. I, th I think we're doing good here. I think we're doing pretty good here. It's warning us that we could keep working on these. Again, three of these aren't useful for us because we don't have any boats. This one would be useful, but that would be a lot of points, and we're still behind on tech as it is, right? We're still kind of just trying to get basically caught up with Portugal as it is. I don't know if Portugal actually evaluates. What is this? I like moving towards legalism more than mysticism. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, that's going to be a good. That's going to be a good benefit, even if it does unfortunately affect autonomy, and and some some other not so great things. Well, we could make money by debasing our currency. We can get two hundred gold by debasing our currency and immediately using our legalism to undo it however or we could just con continue to benefit from national manpower modifier national tax modifier technology cost reduction eight percent that's pretty cool um some good stuff in here that i think we're overall we're enjoying thing is technically getting these ideas does make it cheaper to get technologies but i think it's just it's just too important that we stay up to date 
And there's a chance Portugal is working on Tech 9 right now, right? They're working on Tech 9. What does their leader look like? A 5-5-4? Five, five, I think we've looked at him before. That actually looks really familiar. That's amazing, though. Okay, this is the year March, February. January, February, March. We'll be able to, uh, to get the alliance with Tunis again. They still have their alliance with Ottomans, hopefully. Hopefully they're not rival to the Mamluks or anything like that. Um, oh, oh, the Mamluks love us. This is going to be game-changing. This is going to be game-changing. Okay, I think with the Mamluks and Tunis, I do not think we are going to be attacked by Portugal. Whew. And building up to our force limit. I don't think Portugal is going to feel like this is a good, a good bet for them. Let's go. Let's go. What can we do here? I'm going to just, well, I'm going to, mm, I could even out this stack, but I'm feeling pretty secure. We're making good, we're not paying Portugal anymore per month. I'm going to finish that off and just have 8,000 here, 14, and two stacks of 14,000. Actually, wait, this is six, this is, um, yeah, put two more there. So it'll be two stacks of 14,000 plus a, uh, just a stack of 10,000 infantry. Which we'd either add cavalry to, or we could just add cannon. Probably add cannons to. I'd rather gain ducats than lose ducats. Although I do know that was negatively affecting some of our bits there. While we have the strong legalism, I think we take that. But you can see this next one, we need co we need colonialism to get this next technology. I will say it's plus 85%, which means Portugal is probably not going to get Tech 9 anytime soon. It is a really important technology, though, because it has the military tactics here. Okay, this is looking good, guys. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out here for this episode. We're 50% towards... We're, we're close to integrating Jenny, right? That'll take a few more years. We've unified everything here. I think rebellion-wise, we're looking fairly decent. There is going to be a rebellion up here, rebellion down here. We take care of those. We keep converting the land. I think we're going to be okay. Um, we can continue to occupy and, and unify this area here basically for free. And, and then, you know, build up sort of manual claims on Benin as needed and manual claims on Yeao as needed to, to sort of finish this out. But once we have all of this area, we'll basically just kind of be alone. Right, we'll be just kind of uh, chilling by ourselves, and uh, just trying to build up our own power to 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 go back up into uh, into Morocco. If we were to check the the, this is a core province, so we can do a reconquest. We have forty years to attack Portugal to try to take this. I admit that's actually not that long. So that expires at forty years. Forty years is kind of a long time. I mean, heck, I guess the campaign's only been going for 50, right? So 40 is quite a long time. 40 is quite a long time. But still, I mean, if they maintain their alliance with England and Castile, that could be really painful. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Really appreciate it. If you guys have questions or comments, please leave them down below. And we'll be back in the, in the next episode.